Oh, look at that. We're getting a head shake. I just heard something behind me, so I got to be careful that the female... Here she is. Look at this. Say hello to her. It's a little bit of a bigger meal in this half. Oh, look at that. We're getting a head shake. Marge is something else. I can't see anything. What a silly guy. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Ken in here, and tonight we are inside Cayman Creek, and we are going to be feeding the Cayman at nighttime, which is actually the time these animals are more active. As you can see, here's the male smooth front Cayman. He's out and about this afternoon, evening rather, and uh, we've got some squirrels and rats, and I'm going to try and tempt his tummy with the taste of something sweet and furry. So we're going to do that tonight here on the channel. Uh, I did this a little while ago, and it was super exciting. I'm I was using chicken, but I think they'll go for the furry squirrels and rats here. So we've got this male. We gotta find the female. I don't know if she's in her house. Let's go look. Let's see where the female is. It's always good to have an idea where everyone might be hanging out. Oh, ooh, she's not in there. There she is. Check it out, guys. She's found this mound we built for her. Last year, I got one egg out of her. So hopefully, we'll have some breeding of this female. Uh, it's just a beautiful animal. So what do you say we try her first? She's usually the one that is interested in eating. Uh, I'm wearing a GoPro on my head. I can't see anything. What a silly guy. So I'm going to need to get this light off of me. But we've got a GoPro on my head. We've got the food right here. Uh, so we're going to try and do this. Uh, let's see, let's go with a larger rat, if I can. Let me see if I can find a rat. We, we've warmed them up. They were frozen, thawed. I think that's a larger rat. There it is, yeah. It's a male rat right here. Let's see if she's in the mood for a rat. So again, guys, this is their time for being active. Let's see. Let's get that light out of her face and just see if she's in the mood. It's been much warmer. Oh, I don't know. No? Oh my gosh, she's not in the mood. Come on, girl. This is good stuff. Like I said, I've been using chicken, but maybe the light will disturb her. I don't know. But God, isn't she beautiful, guys? Look at this animal. Such a pretty female. And she does look rather plump. Look at that. Who knows? Maybe she does have eggs inside of her. Maybe she's not eating because she's got some eggs. Let's go ahead and leave her alone and we'll walk on over here. Let's try a squirrel with the smooth front. It's a little bit of a bigger meal. We'll see if he's in the mood for one. And again, Cayman Creek is just looking amazing. Now this guy is a little bit more finicky, but let's see what we can do. There he is. Let's see. We don't want to get that light in his face. Wow, he is awesome. Oh, I think we can get him to open his mouth. If I can get him to open his mouth, we'll get this squirrel inside of his mouth, which is how he likes it. Once he gets his little tasties on it. Come here. Man, it's such a pain in the neck. These guys I've noticed have just been very shy, but when they eat, they're happy. Come on. Not in the mood, huh? Not in the mood tonight. Holy smokes. So strange. They did get a big feed last week, but it's very strange why they're not interested tonight. Holy smokes. These guys are probably the most camera shy animals I have. Now, They've been here over a year, and I can promise you they've been eating, but for some reason, they don't do it on camera. So I wanna push this down. Oh my gosh. They are really impressive animals though, when they do bite down, they're like bulldogs. There you go, come on, there you go, see that? Let's see if he continues to chew, I don't think so. No, man, that is so funny. There you go, come on. Swallow it down, little friend. Try and keep that light out of his eyes, but he did bite down on it. So once he realizes that it's food, he should 
swallow it down for us. So the smooth front caimans are from South America and these guys are nocturnal and they live in this kind of habitat. Just beautiful, oh, look at that. He went under a little bit. There we go. That's what I wanna see. <sighs> Looks like he's gonna position it. Hopefully he's in the mood to eat, let's see. Oh, he's gonna take it somewhere else. Where's he gonna go with that? Where are you going with that, buddy? So these guys live in jungle pools that are really not much more than puddles, which is why we, de we designed, myself and Ed from Aquascape, the pond professor, we designed Cayman Creek with that in mind. Look at this. How awesome is this animal? So maybe he'll go to this ramp over here because as we know, or maybe you don't know, but if you've heard me talk about it before on the channel, they don't have muscles that help them swallow the food. They actually will lift their heads above the water and open their rear flap in their mouth and then the food falls into their stomach. And that's true of all crocodilians. Look at this. He's gone under with it. But this is a new meal for him. It's the first time I'm seeing him take a squirrel. So this is good. And like I said, sometimes I just gotta annoy him. And look, he does that little dog scratch thing. He's got a little scratch on his face, but hopefully he'll keep that food and he'll swallow it. I like to offer them a wide variety of prey items here. It's what's gonna be best for their overall health and nutrition. So even though they don't really digest the fur, they're gonna digest the bone and muscle. Uh, and that's important for crocodilians to maintain strong teeth. They wanna maintain, uh, they wanna give them a full, a full prey item or what we call a whole prey item so that they get all those benefits. So that's really awesome, man. He is so cool. We don't have a name for him yet. I gotta get a name for this guy. These guys are very shy. And wonder why he's itching that jaw. I really don't know. Let's see what he does if he goes out of the water. And of course they share their habitat with Amazon river turtles, a spotted river turtle, some South American cichlids here. We got convict cichlids and blue acara. Some Oscar are living in this pool. There's one of the blue acara right now, kind of hiding out under that rock. Look at her. She's out for a walk. Meanwhile, he's eating, she's out for a walk. They wander around on land quite a bit. These guys, the dwarf caiman and the dwarf crocodile, all have very similar behaviors in that they're nocturnal, they live in small jungle pools, and they happen to be the most terrestrial of any of the crocodilians. Look at that. That is a beautiful animal. Let's see him walk up, come on. Look at that big head, oh yeah. That's a good meal for you, buddy. It's a nice little treat. Good boy. That is such a cool crocodilian. And these, of course, were my buddy Fred Grunwald's. And I'm so proud to have these animals here because they are gorgeous. But look at him, rather. That's our lady way over there. So amazing. And he's gonna just take his own time, which is fine with me. I love it. I just wanna get into a better position, a little more comfy, and we'll just kinda of hang out and watch him. What's she doing? Maybe she hears the commotion and she wants to see what's going on. We got one little blue Akara underneath him right there, maybe waiting for any scraps that fall out of his mouth. Again, the light might be a little bit intrusive and distracting for these guys, so. I'm trying not to shine it directly in his eyes, but I think we can get a really nice view of this animal and what he's doing. I love coming to Cayman Creek. I like visiting out here in the evenings because I know it's when these guys are most active and I wanted to do this with you guys so that you can experience it my, just for yourselves and just how amazing this habitat is. And all these plants are really starting to take off. And once we get the rainy season back here in Florida, you better believe this place is just gonna blossom, man. There's gonna be so much growth this summer. So it'll be really, really cool. 
And look at these osteoderms on these dwarf caimans, these smooth fronts, which are dwarf species. But look at how bony. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I jumped a little bit. Look at that. Good boy. He's getting his head. Oh, look at that. We're getting a head shake. Oh, that's exciting. He wants to break some of it off there to make it easier to swallow. Oh, my God. Guys, I am so close to this guy right now. So awesome. And that's what they do. They just perforate it with those teeth. Look at where we are. Look at where we are. They perforate it with their teeth, and then they do a violent shake of the head. It's so powerful. And that can break the animal in two if he needs it. Wow. We are getting to see a lot of cool behaviors from this guy. Cayman head shake. Wild. Here are some of those blue acara I was telling you about. Just hanging out here in the stream portion of the creek. Wild. Let's see, here's my tongs, so we'll just let him do his thing. If I hear some movement, I'll get the camera back on him, but let's go ahead and see if, since she moved a little bit, maybe we can get her to eat. And I wanna get her a rat. Let's see what we can do. Like I said, she's not someone that's too shy usually. Nope, not gonna do it, huh baby? All right, okay, you don't want it. No problem. I know somebody who will grab it. But look at that high walk. God, she's beautiful. Just a modern day dinosaur. Oh, that's a cool animal. And like I said, she's definitely not missing many meals, so I'm not really worried about her. This is more just to show you guys how these guys do their thing at night. Just so much more active and interesting than when they're around at daytime. Now, let me just do an experiment. Because I've been talking and moving around, I have a feeling, yeah, there's my feeling. Look, somebody is extremely interested in what we're doing over here, and that somebody is Louie. What's up, Lou? It's Lucifer. We're gonna hang out with him in just a moment. You can see he wants to get over here. So he's doing very well. Let's go ahead and get him fed too. I think this smooth front is just happy to kind of keep that prey item in his mouth and he's gonna eat it on his own time. But still really, really cool stuff. Great behavior we're seeing out of these guys. And I love how active they are in the evening here. Let's see what he does here. And you might hear some toads calling. Those are the cane toads, an introduced species here, the marine toad or cane toad. And they breed this time of year here in Florida. And look, there's Louie trying to get over here. These things never go on our time. They always go on the animals, so I'm just glad that I live here and I get to document all this stuff for you guys. And it's fun for me too. I love seeing this. That's why I have to have these animals here. It's so amazing. I just heard something behind me, so I gotta be careful that the female doesn't sneak up behind me. Here she is. There she is making a move right now. And this is why we have the fences so high. Look at this. We keep these fences nice and tall so these guys can't scale them. And there is Louie. That is so awesome. Okay, guys, let's let him finish this in peace. Let me get you guys some action. I promise things are gonna be a lot different when we head on over to see our friend Louie. Just a short walk. Say hello to her. Let's get over here to Lewis. 
Now he knows. Oh, look at who it is. It's Marge, everybody. Look at this. Marge wants food too. This woman, I love her. We'll go get her off our back real quick. Let's give her a little, tiny little rat. Here she is, look at this. Good grief, come on. Come on, take it. There you go. Oh, she's got my tongs. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Where was the rat that I was holding for Lewis? There it is. I think he'll appreciate a larger one today. Come on. Here comes Louie, everybody. Oh, much different, huh? Not shy, super fast, and so comfortable eating in front of me. It's so amazing how different some of their personalities can be. Oh, and look who is to finish her meal. Oh my God. The two of these, these two are the friendliest animals here. Look at that, Louie, good job. And how about Marge with a nice old big mouthful of rodent in her mouth. And again, you notice how he wants to come somewhere. He can kind of stick his head up out of the water and he might do a head shake too. But I'm gonna back up because I don't necessarily want rat guts on me. Oh, and look at this guy. He's still doing his thing. He's still got that rat in his mouth or squirrel. Louie's got one. Wow. Everyone is happy, but look who's quickest. Of course, it's the snapping turtle that's gonna eat this whole thing right down quickly. Wow. Marge is something else. She is a great turtle. Let's wander a little bit, let's see. There he is, he's out there. Now that we've gone away, he feels a little bit more comfortable swallowing that. You can just make him out over there. Amazing. And it's a really well lit night, believe it or not. Here is one of the Amazon River Turtles sleeping. It's so fun to come out at night because you get to see another side of the animals. What's this now? No. Wait. Oh, he's doing his thing. All right, he's doing his thing. He's moving it around a bit. This is all about him being comfortable. Oh, look at this. Is he gonna get that fish? Marge, Marge is so close to that fish. Well, the animals are taking their time tonight, but I just wanted to do something cool with you guys and show you a different side of the camp, one that you don't normally see, the nighttime view of camp. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little time lapse and show you these guys finishing their meal, but we'll speed it up a little bit because as I mentioned, sometimes it takes a long time to eat. See you guys later and thanks for watching. Talk to you.